What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. Check out this pile of shrimp Kelly and I caught yesterday. We wore them out. I got me a little spoon, cotton board, and I'm scooping their heads and throwing them into the canal. So we're at my lease right now in Benel, Florida. Our good buddy Dalton, if you watched our last two grouper videos, was in it. He runs the place, his wife's family owns it. And I'm actually cleaning them here so I can chum up the canal, creek, whatever you want to call it, so Kelly and I can catfish tonight when we get out of our deer stands. Just something else to do. We come up here to just get away and relax. The only annoying thing about this place is they must have a little airport around here and they do flight training because that little plane never stops coming by. So check out these cool little things right here. Everybody, maybe take another like flight pattern, like over there. Give me four minutes. Anyhow, they're called ribbon fish and they're really good deep dropping bait. Kelly and I just got a new contender. We haven't told you all what it is yet, but I'm gonna show you a clip real quick of a couple days ago. Me, Kelly, and her mom went out on the new boat. It's a 31T contender with twin 350 Suzuki's. We went out really just to sea trial it. Got some live bait that we bought from a bait guy there in Stewart. Went out, stopped on a weed line. There was something eating a, a houndfish. Y'all just watch this footage real quick. There he goes. Woo! Real, 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 real. <laughs> Keep, Keep that rod tip up. Keep it up and right there. Alright. I don't know how he hasn't broke that line yet. Alright, now pull on him when he's coming. Pump and reel. Pump up and reel down. Wow, look at that. What a gorgeous. Alright, come back here to the back. Well behind you, dude. I'm not at fault. Is it in past the bar? Yeah, it is. Well, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're, we're, we're turning this sailfish loose, and as we were trying to get the boat in gear, Kelly stepped on a hook. So. We're going to turn it loose and have to get a hook out of her foot. He's going to go nice and easy. See you, buddy. Before it hurts even worse. Yeah, we need to get that out. Oh, dun, my dun, God. Dun. Oh, that's not going to be good. Why did you do that? All right, come on. Stick your foot up can here. Can you just cut the line off so I can move my foot above my heart so it's not throbbing without moving the hook? Oh, so bad. We got to get it out. Let Dr. Gabe get in here first. We gotta remove the squid. Just cut that. I'm squeeze my hand. Ah! What was that? I've had hooks in my pinky worse than that. Oh. All you had to do was get the GoPro and drive the boat. You didn't have to hook yourself. The first blood on the boat. <laughs> yeah, right? Kelly blood. Right. Nice sailfish. Thank you. Nice for hookup. That sailfish was so beautiful. Now, the thing that was hanging out of his mouth was his actual his gut. They do that regurgitating things, trying to get whatever's got them out. You can put it right back in or turn them loose like that, and they live perfectly fine. Check out those two beautiful flounder that we caught yesterday after shrimping. Look at you. Oh. I've just got a 30-pound fluorocarbon leader, one little split shot, 30-pound Beyond Braid, and I pitched him right under that dock. Do flounder like to hang out in the shade? Yeah, they'll hang around in piling. We got a grouper head from our last two videos that we're gonna put on the smoker tonight. And one more big grouper that I'm gonna give to Dalton's father-in-law as a gift for just being such a cool dude. So watch this, I've got a spoon. You can do it with your fingers, but you'll end up getting poked when you have to clean that many. Your fingers will be super sore. And we're chumming for catfish all at the same time. So, by now I know you're wondering how we catch them. So we were actually right in the intercoastal in the Daytona area throwing cast nets that have tape around them. They're exact same as all the other cast nets I use except for they have tape around the lead line. That way when you throw it, 
A normal net will go like that as it hits the bottom. A net with tape will sink just like that. When it hits the bottom, you start tucking it real slow to keep the lead line on the bottom. The net's actually a little bit different to throw than a normal net just because there's so much tape where your fingers go, but it's no harder. Kelly actually filmed a really cool shrimping video too. We try to do our own videos to give you guys just a taste of everything that we do. They're not nearly the same video, even though it is the same whatever we're getting shrimping or fishing. And I hope you guys enjoy, you know, both of our... Because when she's editing a video, I'm not watching her and vice versa. So we really don't ever know how the video is going to come out. But we ended up catching five gallons of shrimp pretty fast. I mean... I bet I only threw 40 times, and my very last throw of the day was absolutely insane. Oh boy, see something silver. Hmm. Look at this, wait till y'all see me dump this net. Whoa, whoa. Look at the shrimp we just caught, oh, and the two crazy things. Oh my gosh, that's, that's the biggest shrimp pool yet. <laughs> In the world. Look at these for deep dropping bait. Those are pretty. Look at their mouth up close. Hold on. Look at that. That thing is gnarly. Oh, look at their there's, teeth. There's 50 to 100 shrimp in there. I'm gonna put them in the well. These are supposedly really good sword bait, but I know they're good kingfish bait. They don't, for some reason, live good in the net. They seem like very sensitive fish. In the well, I meant. Look at the shrimp we just caught. One throw. I think I'm gonna put these in the bait well and go fishing with them. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Y'all leave a comment below if you know what kind of flounder that is. I've surely never seen one like that. Uh oh. Okay, let me get the phone. I want to take a picture of it. Look at that. Well, I'm actually going to save some of the heads for toady bait at home. You know, the puffers, because oh, if you have good, fresh heads for chum, they will come from miles away. Also, don't go anywhere because we've got some trail cams that we've had put out forever, that video, and I've got some really cool animals that you might not even have ever seen before or know that they live in Florida that I'm going to show you. Babe, you need to get a spoon and start helping. I did mine last night. You did like 12. <laughs> I did like 25. <laughs> I didn't have the clever spoon. I was just pinching them off. We'll see y'all back here when we're all done. So as you can see, we're getting ready to eat. But before we go out to the dock, I want you guys to tell me what kind of wasp or bug this is. I actually filmed him yesterday with my cell phone. I'm going to roll the clip right now. If you know what it is, leave a comment below. Y'all see those shrimp right there? I boiled them just like you boil normal water. I then added some Old Bay, then added some lemon, then added the shrimp. When the shrimp were done, I put them in a strainer, poured cold water over them, took them out, then poured some hot melted butter on them, stirred them up, put some Old Bay and lemon back on them, and that's the final product. Tell me how beautiful this place is though right here. Like literally this is heaven on earth. This is a 3,200 acre ranch here that's been in Dalton's wife's family since like mid to late 1800s I'm pretty for sure. There's some really old homesteads along the bank and there's a lot of history on this river. We're actually gonna bring Kelly's dad back up here and do some metal detecting and that's actually pretty exciting because there's literally no telling what you could find. Let's dig in. <laughs> So if you are interested in coming up here 
to see this beautiful ranch dalton offers hog hunts both day and night and some of his thermal hunts are as good as they get that's when like the big giant bars come out at night and it can be really really awesome but yesterday when we got done cleaning these shrimp we were running late and we hauled butt to our tree stand and i killed a really nice buck and kelly killed a really nice hog and i need to inform y'all right now that i'm starting a patreon account and i filmed a video yesterday that is as good as a video can get one because we can do whatever we want in it we can show whatever we want in it we can i it's not a how to clean a deer video it's just a deer hunting video it's like you're here with us i get to show you dragging it blood trailing it finding it shooting it cleaning it the whole nine yards some camaraderie uh dalton and i were actually sitting there looking at my buck just talking when my trail camera went off and kelly then shot a huge hog so i highly suggest checking out my new patreon i don't know if it'll be ready by the time you watch this but it will be up this month and we're going to do all kinds of now we can do all kinds of shooting videos like trapping videos coyote hunting videos videos that we can't do on youtube I'm not done doing YouTube. I'm going to continue my same schedule, at least one to two videos a month on YouTube, what you're used to seeing. I'm just going to add a bunch of added on bonus stuff, educational stuff, kids stuff, like all kinds of stuff onto my Patreon. So make sure when you see that, you check it out because it's going to be good. This is our second time going and doing the cast net thing. And if you're wanting to get into it, I'm sure somewhere online you can find those cast nets. I actually had mine given to me by a friend, so I don't know where to buy them, but I have tried to catch them with nets that don't have the tape and it doesn't work near as good. So if you're gonna do it, I suggest finding one with tape. I know we've caught them, and I know people that catch them anywhere from Daytona all the way up to Jacksonville, all the way into South Carolina. So find you a good spot to go, get you a good cast net and some friends. If you don't know how to throw a cast net, I got plenty of videos showing you. And I'll even show you how to throw it one more time right now. Oh. That was a good pass. What in the world? Got a lot of shrimp in that one. Clean the wipe real quick. What is that? A ribbon fish? Mm -hmm. <gasps> How cool! We've been here for two days. We've got a cooler full of deer meat, a cooler full of hog meat, a bunch of shrimp. We got to head back to Stewart. Kind of, I think, go to the sandbar tomorrow and do a family day with the kids. Right now, though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all. <laughs> 